What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you? Let's get to the content. Hey, man, y'all remember Cadillac Ty, right? Former artist on Murder Inc. Records, man. He had a smash back in the day called pop city anthem man well he kind of re-emerged on social media through clubhouse man and he was a member and a constant presence on the 100 ent stage and whack 100 even embraced him and had his arm around him man but times have changed man and whack 100 reveals his suspicions to the floor that he believes Cadillac Todd may be on some type of illicit substance, man. He exposed his text messages of Cadillac Todd borrowing money, never paying it back. And Wack 100 says there's only one thing that can cause such a dramatic change in a person, and that's drugs. It is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it. Shout out to Wack 100. Shout out to 100 ENT. This is Getty Radio. Let's go. He talked about Cadillac Ty in the um in his new interview. Uh, what he say about old old broke down Cat man? Something about he was a bitch nigga or something. Oh, that's his, brother. That's his brother though. Oh, you ain't call him that. Oh, that ain't what he called him. Call he didn't call him that. He called him a weak man. Did I not call it? Look, I know a lot of y'all was like, damn, whack him. All right, so way back in April, Caddy hits me. Bro, could I hold on to a thousand dollars for a week? No problem. I sent it to him. I forget about it. Late May hit. Lebo called me. He said, "Hey, Caddy hit me the ball six hundred. What you think?" I said, "Nigga, hold up. That nigga was supposed to pay me back a month ago." He said, "Damn, I already sent him the six hundred. I said, "What'd he tell you? A week?" Yeah. I said, "All right." He ain't gonna let the nigga know that we know. Lebo texting him, I'm texting him. You know, I got all the content. Caddy saying, oh, my fault. It slipped my mind. I'm embarrassed. Some this, some that. This, this, that. Give me a couple days, right? Couple days, we end up in August. God damn. I, I forget again. I said, yo, Lebo, let me call this nigga. Lebo say whack. The nigga phone is off. I said, what? He say his phone is off. So when you heard Wack come in here and do what he did, I was trying to flush the nigga. I'ma talk crazy about him. He that was a real picture of him looking like a crackhead in hopes that somebody sent him the link and he do what he always do. Pop up in the room. I told myself, if he on dope, on drugs, we ain't gonna hear from him because he off the radar. He's smoking he in the street. And I'm based off that photo I seen him. I said, this look like he's smoking. The nigga bought a thousand for me, <clears throat> 600 from Lee Bo. This, 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 that. He claimed he was doing some work on the house. Now the nigga just dark. So if he don't show up, right? If he don't show up after he hear this, I can usually do, that means he's somewhere beat me up with Scotty. He's frying, he's sucking on that, gra that glass dick. Caddy never showed up. So I said, all right, let me go to phase two. Let me call the niggas I know he fuck with to see if he heard it and just like, I ain't finna hit that stage playing with the nigga. I called Doggy Diamonds, everybody he fuck with. We ain't heard from Caddy, what? We ain't heard from him at all in months. Now Irv on here saying the nigga's a weak man. Irv know the nigga better than anybody. Prodigy wrote a book and no, he I said- I know the book, but I don't know the passage. Yeah. And he, no, he's saying that the Cadillac Todd like gave up the address to the studio or some shit like that, right? He let, he let niggas know where we was at. All right. And it was crazy because that night that the, that the bullshit happened, after it happened, we was always like, how the fuck these niggas knew where we was at? Mm. Cause I believe it was my birthday and we was bouncing around from, from mm. club to club. Mm. So for them to catch us that night mm. was very weird. Mm. But I don't blame Caddy. He was under pressure. Forgive him. He's a weak. He's a weak nigga. 
everyone can be strong. Right. Remember I told y'all, he probably been had a habit. We just never knew about it because I never really kept up or Cadillac Tower wasn't on my radar when it came to murdering. That was more of a reek type of groupy thing. You know what I'm saying? So I think he's smoking. No, yeah, Reek, you know, Reek was a real groupie. Like, he groupie that kind of shit. 16. He think he think got some attachment or something. That's fucked up to borrow some money from a man and fuck your whole pride up like that and don't pay it back. 1600. That shit, cut out, bro, I'd be, man, shit, little situations like that, I'd be rather than a nigga just tell me, hey, bro, I, I need this. Just tell me you that this ain't that no bar. That nigga bro. Shit. Yeah. Look, the last text I got from this nigga was June 26th, two, two months later, from a week. Been in a bad spot, homie, for a few months, but I'm coming up out the grave as we speak. First money I touch, yours, coming back ASAP. Shit got me fucked up because I've never been down like this bad. But anyways, I got you, bro, your honorable nigga, and I believe we share that. Your hand extended was greatly appreciated, homie. So I ain't holding out. I just couldn't. And that shit sound weird as fuck considering the position I was in a year ago. Now the whole time, he's sending Lebo the same text. He don't know we know. Oh, man. Before that, June 16th. My bad, bro. A lot going on. But we'll be to you next week for sure, my guy. Tuesday and Wednesday. Didn't even realize that much time went by. Damn, that nigga ain't came up on the, on the rack since then. May 25th. Just got into it with wifey, bro. Might be coming out your way. And then I actually loaned you the money back in fucking April. Uh, hold on. Here you go. Oh, this shit is ugly. God damn, Caddy. This shit, this shit is ugly as a motherfucker. Are you dropping April the truth? April 25th. Need your help, bro. Got some last minute shit to handle. But my paper held up till next weekend, and I got to fill up my propane tanks today. Wifey let them shits get empty. But if you can slide me a stack, I will run you back Saturday. I run him the cash app, right? I run it to him. Don't mean to seem like I'm pressing you, but the truck pulling up in 15 minutes. I said, nigga, I already sent it. He sends the prayer hands with all this shit, right? April 29th. Bro, my things got held up a few days, so I need a little grace period on the loan. Wednesday or Thursday this week, right? May 1st, I fuck with you on that podcast shit, especially if I could tap in remotely. My nigga, run my money. May 1st, I guess he's okay. listening. He says that nigga Zim is hot, right? I don't know what you talking about. That must have been that, must have been that Zim and Indigo shit. Mm-hmm. Remember, he was so, popping up. He was, you know, he was, he was coming through a little. Yo, this, yeah, bro. And uh, that's when he hit me with May 25th. Just got into it with wifey, all this other shit. Bro, whole time, he hit Levo with the same shit. He don't know I know. Definitely a junkie. $1,600. I'm nigga, telling buddy. you. Come look, on. Look, bro, now let's put it together. The type of nigga he represents himself as, we didn't all heard him speak. For him to go from that to this, that's drugs. 100%. Hey, that's a motherfucking fact. Right I'm there. telling you. For him to go to the Cadillac Tower we know, speaking how he speaks, to this shit is drugs, nigga. That picture, his last post, nigga, that nigga down like 40, 50 pounds. Now his wife about to leave because he his shit fucked up. I'm fucking lost. Lost in it. God damn, Caddy. That shit I Now, he was just on Reek and RB's live with the glasses on. Looked like he was in the BMW or something, right? I mean, look, you know. His face was fat and everything. Fake, fat face, all that. Damn, and if you I go to his Instagram, his last post. That nigga look like he's smoking like a motherfucker. Oh, when you posted that picture, I seen it. I was like, yeah, that ain't no Photoshop, Thanks. bro. That's real shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anybody that go for, bro, that's like y'all been hearing whack for years. And next thing you know, you see a picture like that of me 
and me doing some shit like that, y'all gonna be like, bro, something, something broke down. So what, Caddy? Caddy, he won't return no phone calls no more. He won't. Nigga, turn the number off. Nah, uh, that, nah, he ain't lying. That number off. I'm telling you, bro. Yeah. Nigga, number. I'm telling you, bro. Listen to me, my nigga. Nah, all that nigga telling you, he, he telling you real shit. All this behavior, bro. It's, it's, it's like that's pops definitely home, drugs. Pops going to work every day, taking you to football practice. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Nigga, now it's Friday. You and Pop supposed to go to the motherfucking movie at 7 o'clock. You sitting at the motherfucking window dressed, waiting for him to pull up. Next thing you know, you wake up. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, nigga. You still dressed. Nigga, you sweating a little bit. You go look in the room with moms. Pops ain't there. Ain't no car in the driveway. You don't see this nigga till nigga two years later. Talking about he just got out of jail, out of rehab. And that nigga used to always be taking his kid to basketball practice in the morning. Bro, I'm that telling you. daily thing. This type Hell, of changing man. behavior, God, only one thing drives it. One thing. All right, we're going to leave it right there, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wag 100 suspects that Cadillac Ty is on some type of illicit substance because of the behaviors that he's been exhibiting over the last few months, man. And I have to say this, man. I kind of hate this for Cadillac Ty because I actually liked him on the 100 ENT floor. Wag 100 actually entrusted Cadillac Ty to control the stage when it got out of control when he wasn't around because Cadillac Ty had the personality, had the mentality to be able to handle different personalities on stage when they're classing and he can bring everything down. So Wack was comfortable with leaving him at the helm when he wasn't around. So he was a great addition. I love this personality. He didn't come off as a very judgmental person, evil person, but I will say this about the streets and street dudes, man. A lot of street dudes have habits, man. The Cadillac Ty is a street dude, and I'm not saying that Cadillac Ty is on any type of drug or illicit substance. I have to say allegedly here, I'm just responding to what the audio was saying, but I have to say this. A lot of street dudes do drugs, man. Cocaina, heroin, shoot it, snort it, etc. You name it, they do it. Popping pills, sipping lean. Ladies, y'all like street dudes. Y'all have no idea. Some of these street dudes y'all dating, they are on drugs. Literally, some of y'all know it, some of y'all don't know it, some of y'all sweep it under the rug, act like y'all don't know it, but that's what comes with the game, man. You're not in a dysfunctional lifestyle and you're a functional person. Most street dudes are on some type of drug outside of weed. Trust me, I come from the streets, I know how it is, I know what it was, and I know what it is today, right? It happens all the time. This is not abnormal for anybody to come from the street. Why? Because we deal with a lot of trauma out there in them streets. We deal with a lot of stuff that we have to be numbed from. There's a special type of person that can remain sober in the entire stint in the streets because there's so much mess going on all around you, man. So you're gonna get high on something at some point because it's all around you. It's there, it's rampant. You're in the environment. You're in the belly of the beast. You're gonna get high, man. And, and this doesn't go for everybody. I'm just saying, man, on a human level, when you're dealing with things that street people have to deal with man sometimes you fall into that thing and you get that monkey on your back bro it ain't really nothing to be clowning about i get it in our uh, society and in our culture we do clown people for that but sometimes man people are clowning people for certain things because they're actually involved in it themselves i'm not saying that the people in this audio are those people but i'm just saying man it comes with the game this comes with the game just like snitching comes with the game. It's frowned upon. Drug usage, smoking crack, sniffing coke, all of that stuff is frowned upon in the streets, but street dudes still do it, man. It's taboo. It's, it's a secret society. Everybody ain't got to know, man. Y'all go off to y'all little corner, do your thing, handle your business, and you come on back and, and handle your business as a regular street person, right? So everybody ain't got to know what you got going on this is all speculation when it comes to cadillac ty and if he is i hope he cleans up man get himself together and i hope to see him back on the 100 ent floor again man some day man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty radio i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace <laughs>